I was brought up to believe we are what we think we are, what we think we become. Let me share with you all a story of one interesting man with interesting answers. Once his wife asked him, Who am I? The man thought for a while and replied, You are one in a billion. Satisfied, the wife continued to do her work. Next, his mother asked him, Who am I? Sensing an impending danger, the man thought for a while and replied, You are one in 7.8 billion. Satisfied, the mother too continued to do her work. Suddenly, the mother turned back and answered, It's not everybody one in 7.8 billion. Yes, there is no universe to do greater than this. You are one in a billion. I am one in a billion. There's no one more special or unique as I am. There's no one more special or unique as you are. You are a masterpiece, a piece of the master. Most of us, we don't feel the worth of being a masterpiece every single day, do you? No? Maybe that's because we still a work in progress. Or the people around us do not know how to appreciate the beauty of an art. We live in a world in which we are told what makes us special is being popular, what makes us special is getting acceptance only if you are cool enough. We live in a world where our worth is being measured by the number of hearts we get on Instagram or any other social media handles. You know, as a young woman from Manipur living in Delhi, I realized very soon in life that I was different, different from the rest. My look, my culture, everything was different. The food that I eat, it's totally different. <laughs> you know, you know, right? Everybody, including you and me, we want to feel valued. We want to be accepted and we feel that, you know, this bond or relation or whatever you called it to happen spontaneously, but it doesn't. When we are different, we need to work hard to belong. We need to put more effort to get accepted. And the question here is where do we put our efforts? Do we try to mold our mind and body to become like the commonly group of individuals that we want to be a part of? Or do we embrace our differences and show the world that we are awesome too? I'm telling you, you know, being different is a very big advantage. You get to bring something new to the table. Maybe the world, the people around you will someday see the world through your lenses. Let me share with you my story. You know, coming to Delhi, I would face so many problems. And one of the things was and is, is people commenting, passing comment on me, like when I have to go to the Sabji Mandi or the local markets or when I have to go somewhere, I travel my metro, so on my way to the metro, like people would say, Momos, Jomin, Nepali, Chinese, and recently, you know what, Corona. Do I look like Corona? Do I look like Momos? Do I look like... Chowmin, I get it if you say Chinese or Nepalese, maybe you cannot differentiate between them. Because we Asian, we look alike, that's fine, but Corona, Momos, Chowmin, that's so weird. It's so offensive, right? But I didn't let that affect me. I started seeing myself different, different from the people, you know. I can change them, I cannot. 
but I can change the way I see things, the way I take their comments. Being different is great, right? But there was a time when I thought otherwise. I want you to ask yourself, what makes me different? If you're at home, take a piece of paper and a pen and write it down. What makes me different? Or what makes me special? If you're not at home, just ask yourself, what makes me special? Take your time. Do not be embarrassed or ashamed of your distinct self, you know. I see like most people are not happy with themselves. They try to be somebody else. And that really hurts seeing, you know, people ashamed of their differences. Differences are no limitation right there, but a piece of who we are. We should all be proud of ourselves. At time, we wish to be the so-called perfect person who has got everything in life, who can do anything, forgetting that that so-called perfect person had his or her own prejudices in life, which make them the per which make them the perfect person they are now. We all had our own prejudices in life. Maybe we still do have prejudices in life, right? We all had that moment where we said to ourselves and said, why is this happening to me? This world is so unfair. And I tell you, Christ is not going to help you. It's not going to give any solution to it. So why not pick the prejudices we had in our life and fill them with every word written on that piece of paper. Fill them with your purpose in life. Fill them with what you want to be what you want to do in life because it is in that moment that you become absolutely unique. Because it is in that moment that you become absolutely special. It is in that moment that you become absolutely you. No one is you. You are you and that's what makes you special. Thank you.